Holy cow, I don't know if I've ever seen Universal this empty. All right, we're back at Universal. Just got done pouring, so it's nice and steamy. I'm with the princess. We're gonna go check out Halloween Horror Nights 29 construction. Ah, the main arches to Universal. I would imagine the next two, two and a half weeks, these will be decked out for Horror Nights. Hopefully, since they're not doing Rock the Universe this year, before Horror Nights, we'll have more theming than what we normally get, because that would be awesome. Let's go inside and take a look and see what we can see. We did it. We're in with the crowds. This is where all the people are, by the way, not on the people movers or the moving walkways. All right, so coming into the park, I cut to the right. We're gonna go down Hollywood, where this is going to be Vanity Ball. So, yeah. Basically just have lighting trusses up for now. It's hard to get really elaborate with these parade route scare zones anymore because the parade floats during the day have to be able to get through here. My guess is that these will have banners on them and be a lot more themed and they'll probably have the temporary or movable float things just like the Chucky Scare Zone did in front of them. I'm gonna go on the pass holder lounge and see if we can get our pin for the month. It's all fancy and the AC feels amazing. It's awesome, we got our um, August pass holder pin and new magnets which look pretty rad. I like them, they look a lot cooler than the other ones. So next month, the Horror Nights ones start coming out. Don't. All right, so that basically does it for Vanity Ball for now. Hopefully in the next couple of days there'll be more stuff. Probably won't see a lot of stuff in the zone until the night of when they wheel it all out. The next area leads us into Central Park, which will be Vikings. basically just have light towers and speakers right now. Oh, and massive, massive moving strobe lights. So this go scare zone is going to be very bright and strobey, and I love it. The scare zone is going to be very loud, I think, too, because there are speakers literally lining the entire thing more than I've ever seen before. Ah, we have Horror Nights tents. It's so close I can taste it. But better than the tents, this year, besides pizza fries coming back, there is going to be s'mores fries. Sweet potato fries with marshmallow and chocolate chips. And that, my friends, is what I'm most excited to try. I wonder what kind of food they're gonna have at the tents this year. And I wonder how the new drinks are gonna taste. We have Simpsons lighting. Why do I strongly feel there's gonna be chainsaw clowns here again? Well, no house entrance signs yet, anywhere in the park, but more HHN pop-up bars, yeah. It's hard to see back there, but this morning Universal finally officially announced House of a Thousand Corpses in the Men in Black Extended queue. I cannot wait for this house. I'm sure we'll start to see the facade take shape big time now that it's been announced, so we'll be back in a few days to check it out. Fear Factor is not going on because Academy of Villains is back. And of course, the Academy of Villains area pop-up bar is here. This year's show will be called Academy of Villains Altered States. And we can only hope that it's slightly better than last year's. Also, they've already got all the crowd control and barriers here. It's a little early, but I'll take it. We've got the Harry Potter area lights set up. It should be noted that they only light the ground way. I think last year they lit this whole facade here, and then after the first night, they were all moved. So there's no spooky stuff happening in this area during the event. All right, we are coming up to the also freshly announced Rob Zombie Hellbilly Deluxe Scare Zone. I just imagine this scare zone being obnoxiously loud and absolutely epic. I hope they plaster like a monster-sized Rob Zombie face or something on here like they did for Alice Cooper's Maze. 
another massive lighting truss with massive strobe lights. Just like that, you're already at the second side of it, so it definitely feels like a short scare zone. But the way these speakers are aiming inward, I think it's gonna be very, very loud. These are some seriously Mondo cables and weights holding up this truss. I do think they're gonna put like a massive facade on the front side of each one. One thing that was mentioned when they announced Academy of Villains was that a brand new, never before seen show was going to debut during Halloween Horror Nights. So the question is, is it a new nighttime water show? Or is it the Jason Bourne stunt show rumored to be replacing T2 that nobody wants to see? I'm really hoping it's a water fountain show. Because Jason Bourne sounds lame, sorry. And with that, come to the streets of New York where the largest scare zone will be and that is Zombieland Double Tap and it looks like they've got a lot done including I don't know if you can see it but carnival lights hanging on cables above the streets so I'd imagine this is going to be the big old carnival theme park area um, reenactment sort of scene probably make for a really cool atmosphere You can see in the video, but there looks like there's seven strands of lights hanging over the streets here. Looks pretty awesome. We have the Twinkie truck. At least I hope that's what it is. Horror night sign. Although I gotta say, it just says Malik's Bake Shop in there. I'm not seeing any Twinkies. Although I wonder if they can legally use Twinkies. Because I mean, obviously it's trademarked. Man, they did go out of business though. We've already got Horror Night Stilt Walkers out. It's awesome. So they got a game area set up. Wayland Specific Treasures. I'd imagine some kind of awesome scenes gonna happen in there. Quite possibly the most epic thing here is going to be this new stage show with the drop tower ride from the movies. Or the movie. And it looks like the kill game. Smells like fresh plywood. This thing looks awesome. I wonder if they're gonna have a cart on it that actually like goes up and down. Here's the back side of the tower. All of these tubes look like they made a PVC and cardboard. The red tube look like cardboard. Don't know if that's gonna hold up too well in the weather between now and November 2nd. These trees are wrapped in yellow lighting. Have they always been wrapped in yellow lighting or is that part of Horror Nights? I don't know. It looks like these panels are made of aluminum welded together, but it looks like it does have plywood on the front of it. So I'm gonna guess that there's probably going to be a static card on here, but I don't think it's going to actually move up and down. Also, these cables, while well, they're very much an eyesore, I don't know if they can really remove them and risk this thing toppling over in bad winds. There's your inside look. Here soon should be the Halloween Horror Nights Tribute Store. I'm sure they're already inside working away on it. Oh man, HHN food tents. It's getting real, y'all. But even better yet, the bar in the Transformers Extended Queue is fully up and ready. I hope they have some really kick-ass beer this year. It'd be awesome. The mixed drinks are so-so because there's really not that much alcohol in them. And also, please, for the love of God, Universal, don't bring back the split cups. Nobody likes those. They're annoying. Soon, this will be nothing but zigzagging lineness. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to it. Even with Express, it's gonna be bad. All right, it's ungodly hot, so we're making our way out in the last zone. It'll be an arcade, a 80s themed 
arcade that goes crazy, basically. And there's really nothing in here yet besides some lights on either side. You'll know when they're gonna start building stuff here whenever they remove these trees on the left and right out. But so far, nothing. Probably gonna be another week or so before we see anything here. All right, we're heading out. It is way too ungodly hot. We came right after it poured and it's just like pure humidity and steam. So that was fun. Up at the exit, they've got lights up everywhere, including the very top of the arch. So they're definitely are getting ready in the front too already. Holy crap, in case you couldn't tell, I'm drenched in sweat just from walking around the park. One time fairly quickly, it is hot. I don't know how anyone comes here. Now you can see me. I don't know how anyone comes here in the summertime. It's just too hot. So on that note, we'll be back in like a day or so to see what else they've done and just brave the miserable heat. Until next time, see you guys.